They're absolutely beautiful, the Manitoba mucklers. Yeah. Eric Barnes is here, back with us again. How are you? Good, thanks. Good How to you? see you. Good to see you. You too. Look, look at the beautiful Christmas presents. Hey, <laughs> good idea for. Well, that's what we're thinking. Lots of Christmas presents here on the table. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like yours, by the way. Thank yours you. Yours are very nice. These are actually one of a kind. This is is that right? Of buffalo Special? hide. Yeah, and we worked with an artist, Louis Gong, who designed this eagle pattern, and then we etched it into this Paris. This wow. Only one. They're yeah. absolutely beautiful. A lot of the a uh, lot of the mucklucks have uh, interesting designs, beading designs. That's, that's right. That's kind of what makes us uh, unique from anyone else is right. the fact that everything is hand beaded. It comes from history and tradition. It's just so it's an, an authentic muckluck. Yeah, that's right. right. It's authentic. Yeah. Thousands of years old, and that that's the concept. We've taken these designs, we've adapted them to modern use, right. so you can wear them outside. In, in our regular Ottawa winter. Well, that's uh, that's what I was just asking in the break. Is uh, you know, uh, are they uh, are they good to go when it comes to cold weather and stuff? And yeah, absolutely. Is absolutely. The so like a really cold day is perfect. Like below minus ten when everything's frozen, so you don't have right. wetness. That's when these are better than Look anything on the market. Look inside. Yeah. You see the, the sheepskin the natural insulators. Right. Uh, this thing will keep you warmer than. Pretty much anything on the market, I would say, yeah. as it has for thousands of years. And you've adapted with the bottoms, right? So they're they're. Yeah. I wouldn't wear them in the slush. No, that's not. Because I wouldn't want to no, ruin them. That's exactly but right. But if you get wet underneath here, it's uh, it's fine. Yeah. It's pretty high profile. Plus, if you, sort of if you sole, end up right? yeah, if you end up outside by accident, then you can always dry them out um, naturally, and then and then let, wear them the next day. Yeah. So. And you cl how do you clean them? Uh, with a little bit of soap and water. That's Some it, eh? people have said a bit of vinegar and water. So yeah, yeah. anything to neutralize vinegar salt. Vinegar apparently cleans anything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's natural. Um, I, uh, I'm a big fan of the slipper. Uh, I love slippers, and I know you brought along some ideas for uh, for people. Yeah, for, so these uh, are actually some prototypes for some new spring colors that we oh, have. Oh, is that right? Um, so generally, new spring and summer products that we have across the board that all have a vibram sole. Right. So these are really functional for outdoor wear. Right. Um, just like you know, its counterpart indoor. These are more slipper. of a slipper, right? That's so right. you do have a nice uh, yeah. bottom on them, so you can go out, uh, you know, on the deck or to retrieve it's, something. Yeah, or you or go the take the garbage out. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. But they keep you warm, so that's like you're drinking hot cocoa. This is more like you can wear them down to the dock, and go swimming. Yeah, true enough. Hey, eh? yeah. true enough. Now, um, I like these two. Yeah, that's Perfect. our first white product that we have. Is now, that right? For spring, yeah. We have a white muckluck like that. It's similar to this. Right. Um, but that's our first white summer product. Jared, where do we find these? On our website, so www.manitoba, with yeah. an H dot C-A, or you can find them at Town Shoes locally, Glebe I saw them at Town Shoes. Yeah. I like uh, Town Shoes. We're carried at Brown's, too. Um, yeah. A bunch yeah. of local retailers, uh, Snow Goose on Spark Street. In the oh, is that right? Uh, uh, yeah, on Sparks over there. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, you can check out our website to find all those retailers. And I know you're always coming up with new designs and uh, new products for people to... Uh, to try, so yeah. go to the website and see what you like, and then go totally. go to the store. You, or if I order online, would I get it in time for the Christmas? Definitely. Would you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Sure. And the oh. story boots, um, that's on our website as well, and we have a new story boot artist that's here with us today. That's right. You David. have a great connection uh, with a local group, right? That's right, called the Odawa Friendship Center. Yeah, we're going to explore that in a little bit yeah. and talk more about uh, Manitoba mucklucks and great things that are going on with the Odawa Friendship Center.